This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee Rumor has it. Rumor, rumor, rumor. on the Breakfast Club. So listen up. Nah, 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 nah. Now you excited about this, Charlemagne? You're a huge boxing fan. What is what, what? What's the what's the what's the match? Lamar Odom versus Aaron Carter. Are you excited about this match tonight in Atlantic City? Nah, but I mean, I'm a, I, I, if it if it comes across my timeline, I'll watch it. Would you pay for it? Nah. Who's gonna win? I have no idea. I don't Who know. Who would you put your money on? Uh, probably Lamar Odom. They both look pretty bad. I don't know if you've seen them sparring or, or practicing. They both look pretty bad. I can't see them lasting two rounds. Um, this, this is not a real boxing match, though. These are just two people that's going to go in there and be slugging. It's not like either one of them are fighters or have any background in fighting. So, yeah, I'll put my money on Lamar in that situation. Yeah, but I don't even think they can last two rounds. I think they're going to be too tight. I, bet so I think I they're going to be too I've been watching them box. First of all, they can't swing. They they can't even fight the right way. They can't throw a punch the right way. It's going to be nasty and disgusting. But they've been training I'm putting my for money. this, right? Oh, man, stop. I put my money on Lamar Odom. All right, well, let me know who won because I'm definitely not buying that fight. Now, also, uh, Quavo and Kendrick Perkins talks about their beef. Now, if you don't know who Kendrick Perkins is, he played in the NBA. He's a sports analyst right now. And, you know, of course, you know Quavo. Now, they have a beef that's been going on for years now. And it all started from Quavo's uh, album where he threw a, a shot at Kendrick Perkins. Let's hear it. Every time your bitch phone ring, she working. Get no plan time, Kendrick Perkins. All right. Well, that's where it started. Well, Quavo talks about why he took a shot at Kendrick Perkins. I don't got no beef with him. He must have felt some type of way when I dropped them bars. And ever since then, he was saying my bars was weak, and I only was just stating facts. Why, yeah. why choose facts on Perk? When I was doing my solo album, I was actually watching the finals, and my boy Big Perk had a suit on, man, when you was arguing and, and, and going at it with my boy Drake. And that was the Cleveland finals, and you ain't really play like that, Perk. You ain't playing. You shouldn't be trying to fight. <laughs> <laughs> well, Perkins responds to what Quavo said. I was minding my business and having a conversation with one of my former teammates and Serge Ibaka having a little fun with him at the time, and Drake had to interact with, with the conversation and shoot something my way. And where I'm from in Beaumont, Texas, in the country, we don't care about <laughs> names, we don't care about none of that. You shoot something my way, I'm going to address you like the numbers on the house. I'm going to address you like the numbers on the house, <laughs> God damn it! Drop on a clues bomb for Kendrick Perkins, okay? The best part of this is that these brothers had a conversation, okay? Too many people talking about each other, you know, via uh, social media and YouTube and not talking to each other. And, you know, to see them on First Take yesterday having a conversation with each other, a civil conversation that was highly entertaining, I, I appreciate that. So drop on the clues bombs for Kendrick Perkins and Quavo. That's what you're supposed to do. Well, it goes a little further, all right? Now, Perkins... Uh talks to Quavo about uh, why he didn't get that much playing time during that series. Okay, at the time, I wasn't. I was the 14, 15 man on the bench in my 13th year. But when I was putting in work, you probably still had Simulac on your breath when I was helping the <laughs> but Celtics hold on, hold on, go hold on, to hold the on, finals also, during that time. Hold on. So, look, at the end of the day, go pull it up. Go put in crucial games. Game seven, I came out with 13, 10, and 5 against your Hawks. And in the Eastern Conference Finals, when they needed me the most, I stepped up my game against Detroit Pistons in a few games. You, I could pull up. But one, for example, where I had 16, 15, and 7 blocks. <laughs> Listen, man, there's no real issue between them. Quavo said something in a rap record. Kendrick didn't like it. They had a convo about it. The end. That's it. All right. Well, they did, they did squash their beef. Let's, let's hear it. They said it's not no a real beef. beef. There was no beef. Also, Go. you let the Lakers steal one when you weren't supposed to be hurt. You remember that? No, but I'm saying I tore my ACL. How can I control that? If we, ESPN ain't gonna put AD in a wheelchair every time in the playoffs, why not do Big Perk like that? How am I gonna play on the tour and ACL? Every, everybody, that, I everybody mean, that... jump, everybody ro roast everybody in the playoffs who get hurt. Everybody right, roast, right. you roast, right. a, you we roast squash AD it? when he get hurt. Look, I don't care. I got, I got, I got tough skin. I'm not even tripping on that. All right, so they squashed it out. There's no beef. They were just going back and forth. It's over. That's what I'm saying. The best thing they did was have a conversation. Too many people talking about each other and not talking to each other. You know what I mean? And social media makes it easy to talk about people but not talk to people. So it's good to see them have that conversation together. And it's nothing. That's nothing. Yeah. Nothing there. 
All right. Well, that is your rumor report. Now, when we come back, we got front page news. Uh, if you're having some heart inflammation, uh, it could be because of that Moderna or Pfizer shot. We'll tell you about it when we come back. But right now, let's get into another new joint. We've been playing new music all morning long. Megan Thee Stallion, she got a new joint. Uh, it's called Thadish, and it's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. 